Hello, my name is Joe Hinko. This training video is on the Hinks Pix Pro. How to change the board's operational mode from accepting E131 or ARCnet or DP information off of the Ethernet or using standalone mode where complete operation of audio and lighting data comes from an SD card. Currently, if you look at the very top line, it says source E131. That means the board is actively looking for data coming off of the Ethernet, either E131 protocol, ARCnet protocol, or DP protocol. Let's say we want to have the board operate in standalone mode. Standalone mode means there's no computer, there's no resource outside of the board itself to properly run a display. Everything you need to run your display is on the SD card. Now, when you go into standalone mode, the board is either a master or a slave. The difference is Think of, all, and it only makes sense, you're only going to have a slave if you have more than one board in your, uh, in your display. Uh, there always has to be a master, but there may or not be slaves. If you think of an orchestra where you have a bunch of musicians, there is a maestro. The maestro is the master. Everybody takes what they're doing direction from the maestro, in this case the master. So we're going to set this board up to be a master. We do that by hitting, going into the operational menu mode by hitting the middle button. The very first selection says operational mode. We hit the down arrow or the down button until operational mode is highlighted and we hit the middle button. It says currently active E131 mode. It says change. We want to change that. So we hit the down arrow or the down button until we hit change and we hit middle. Comes up and says currently in E131 mode. Do you want to make this board a slave or do you want to make it a master? And we want to make it a master. If we had another board already identified as a master, then all other boards would be made slaves. We're going to assume this is the only board in the system right now, so it needs to be the master. So we're going to hit the down button to master. We're going to hit enter. The board has reset. It is now going to come up as a master. After the menu countdown, it'll go out to my website. It'll check for new firmware updates, which it's going to start right about now. After the firmware updates, it'll come up and it'll say status. If you notice, it says it's in alone mode, meaning standalone mode. It is a master. There is an SD card. There's an active schedule. And there's an active playlist. If the schedule and playlist times are within the current time that the board is right now, you'll start playing a sequence and all your lights will start working. So that concludes this video on how to change a mode. Well, let's put it back until E131 mode, just to conclude the video. So we go back, we can hit enter, go back to operational mode. We're currently in standalone mode. We want to go to E131. We hit enter. Now she's going to reset. She'll go back through the uh, countdown. The countdown there is to give you time to enter the startup menu, which allows you to go into lighting test mode, set factory defaults, set a static IP. Now we're, we're done checking my website and if you notice now the board is in E131 mode. So we're no longer in standalone mode. That concludes this video on how to change modes of the board.
either obtaining lighting data from the Ethernet, which is E131, ARCnet, or DP protocol modes, or standalone mode, where you're either a master or a slave, and all lighting and audio comes from an SD card. Have a nice day.